Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we have learned uh, when we submit a JSP page, right, JSP registration page, then how we are going to collect this parameter in the controller, user controller. So here, basically in previous video tutorial, we have seen uh, basically how we are collecting this parameter using at the rate request param, right. So I am going to refactor this code and there I am going to show you uh, instead of specifying uh, uh, at the rate request param for every parameter here you have chance to use a map map of request param and every key value pairs uh, will be stored into the map and from map we can extract the value so to do this I am going to create a, another project so let me create another project and most of most of the files i'm going to copy from this project so go to the new and create a dyna dynamic web based project and i would give the project name as spring nbc request from map web app and let's click on the next again click on the next and finally click on the finish button now this is the project just i have created and uh, in this project, uh, most of the files, not most of the, but all files I'm going to copy from the previous project. So here is the previous project. Uh, and one of the most important thing uh, I would like to highlight here, as I'm telling you, most of the files I'm going to copy from my previous project. So I request you to go and watch my previous video tutorial and then come to watch this video. Then it would be worthful for you now let's copy all files and folders uh, within the bevinf so i have copied and just i'm gonna paste in bevinf so sorry so first of all let's copy the dependent jars which is in leaf folder so copy and uh, paste into the leaf and now I'm going to copy uh, view dispatcher servlet and web.xml and all those stuff we have to copy in the Now I'm going to copy these two package controller as well as model package in src folder. And there is a little modification in this project. Now I'm going to copy this project name and if you go to the view page in register.jsp then here we need to specify this project name. So basically we have given the relative path and in here we have to specify this project name. And let me run this project once. Uh, so make sure that everything is working perfectly fine then we'll go for the code refactory. Let me close all files. Sorry, let me redeploy again. And here is the registration phase. Let's try to run it. Just I'm entering the name as soon. Uh, email as soon dot cs at the rate yahoo.com. Uh, age I'm going to specify 40. And country I'm taking US. And when I click over here, then you can see. Uh, we have navigated on the register sir, register success page and if you click on the back button then again we are navigating to the uh, register page right so it's working perfectly fine so this is the project we had created in the previous video tutorial in this video tutorial i'm going to do some refactor so as i said here instead of collecting every attribute individually if you, you number of parameter grows in the JSP page registration page then this signature of this method is gonna increase right sometimes it's not good so let's uh, here instead of what I'll do instead of uh, collecting every uh, parameter by specifying the request program we can take a map so how you can take a map let me show you so you will have to write as a request program 
and here you, you are going to take a map key i am going to take as a string and value as also a string here you can take value as a object as well but i am going to take a, a string and here on this map name you can give anything whatever you want here i am going to specify request map something like this and uh, of course you need to make the import from java.util now now all attributes basically when you click on the register page when user uh, fills, fills this form and then user clicks on the register button then key value when i say key value means name of the parameter would be key and whatever value you are entering this text that becomes the value this will store in the map and you will have to ex extract those values from the map so uh, here this map as we know that as we know that map is having a method is called get so we can call the get method and here key i'm going to specify name why name because if you go to the register page then here you can say name that, that's why this is a key now i'm going to retrieve the uh okay now we have to retrieve a similar fashion uh, you can retrieve age right so basically here we are getting age in the string so we need to convert into the integer so as you know that wrapper class integer is having a method echo is called parse integer it's a static method so directly you can call by the class name and here you can pass age uh, but if you use at the rate request program to collect individual attribute then there uh, uh, there you don't need to i mean convert into integer so uh, at the rate request program has capability to convert into the uh, data in appropriate type so this data coming as a string from the ui but uh, as a, if you collect individually then directly this converts into the integer but if you put in the map then you will have to convert it explicitly okay so these things you will have to keep in mind now request that get again i'm going to collect email so here key is again email and uh, last but not the least we are going to collect country so here you need to specify country okay and that's it we are done now you can see method signature is we have only one parameter only one argument now to make it working we will have to make one entry in the your uh, spring wave configuration file so if you go to the dispatcher sublet here uh, make sure that you have a namespace mbc right so you can make use of this mbc namespace and here we'll have to write uh, mbc colon annotation driven then this is gonna work else you'll get runtime error now i'm gonna save this project and let's run and make sure that everything is working perfectly fine now registration page got displayed now username i'm gonna enter martin email address i'm going to enter martin dot kp 2007 at the rate gmail.com anyway there is no email validation so whatever you enter that will go to the server so validation validation stuff we'll see in the future if you click on the register then see it's working perfectly fine if you click on the back button then again we are navigating on the registration page so i hope you enjoyed learning this video so this code i'm going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description itself if you have any queries or any question then please do post below to the video uh, i will try to answer those queries as soon as possible thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial